Okay, so we have here our top gains in the past 24 hours. And we see OTN has a top spot. Santiment has the second spot. Rapido Credit has the third spot. Substratum has the fourth spot. Syscoin and then Potcoin and Mobile Go as well as Bit, uh, BitBay get the next spots. So we are going to review Santiment and Mobile Go. We've reviewed Rapido, Open Trading, um, and we will re be reviewing BitBay, Potcoin, Substratum in the future. Looking at Mobile Go, we see a 20% gain in the past 24 hours, and it's at 0.69. A total supply of 100,000, or 100 billion, sorry, in a circulating supply of 98 billion. 24 hour volume of 413,000 and a market cap of $67 million. Their social media is right down here, and you can follow that. We'll also be uh, sharing on our Twitter page. If you go to Crypto Living, at Crypto Living, you will see our Twitter page. And every time we do a review on one of these tokens, we will share the social media to go with that token. Their markets actually got Gatecoin a long time ago. And it's a very different, interesting uh, exchange. Moving to their charts, we see that after the ICO, they uh, were worth about $3, just under $3, and um, they have went all the way down to about $0.70. Cents. Um, something made that go down, but I would buy a few maybe at this low price. And we see that there is still volume. There's not a lot of volume. Not too many people are into this, but there are some people. Here we have Mobile Go. It's available on exchanges, and they do have a mobile Ethereum based, Mobile Go Ethereum based coin and a Waves based token. So that they can be on Waves exchanges and Ethereum exchanges. They've been on some uh, media like the Next Web. The first crypto-centric mobile gaming platform and store for in-game purchases. So if you're a gamer, this might be interesting, interesting for you. Two years and well over $1 million spent in development, expanding to thousands of games in 2017. So it's kind of like a, an app store that sells games. Platform features using mobile Go tokens will include, so kind of in game purchases and stuff like that, gamification of platform, earn discounts and rewards, decentralized virtual marketplace, decentralized match play, and decentralized tournaments. Now there's a lot of people or a couple of different companies trying to do this right now, the decentralized virtual marketplace, but I like how they also have decentralized match play and turn decentralized tournaments in there as well, because this is going to be a huge money maker in the coming years. We see right now with, with hockey and other sports how much money's in it, and we are moving towards the gaming tournaments. Uh, China already has huge um, esports gaming tournaments, and uh, the the kids that play are celebrities in China, and they make a lot of money. So we need someone to do this properly and take over this decentralized tournament model because um, I don't like the way past sports have been uh, been run so it'd be nice to see them run on a decentralized platform so this is the global mobile gaming market growth growth so yeah exactly to 2020 it's estimated to be billion billions of dollars worth of uh, revenue for gaming related businesses Third-party mobile platform revenues, so Apple Store and Google Play. Apple Store uh, and Google Play have made in 2016 35 billion, and then 2015 25 billion. So it's trying to take over 
Google Play, um, and it can because of uh, the numbers. So up to 60 days, developers get paid with Google Play, and up to 60 hours with this uh, game credit store. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused as to why this game credit store now needs this mobile go. I, I guess this mobile go is the token, it's the coin for the game store app or the game store um, website. So um, maybe they did this on purpose, separate it in, into two ICOs to get more money and spread it out over a longer period and have compartmentalize the projects so um, also when uh, when developers have their games on Google Play they get about 70 percent of the revenue on a game credit store they get 90 percent so the incentives um, for people to move over to game credits and use mobile go are enough to uh, to have it compete with things like Google Play and we see that when something's easier and more profitable people naturally um, migrate towards it here's their team looks like a lot of young people I thought this would be a Chinese project but it's it's not they are um, planning to um, have market have their market um, a big part of their market in China but it's not seeming to be run out of China but I could be wrong on there so this is uh, their global slack um, you can join as well and their telegram channel I'll be joining telegram channels soon here I just haven't uh, experimented much with telegram yet and I will read you a little bit of their white paper after two years of development with gaming industry leaders dat Croft LTD game credits is near completion of development on the of the first crypto mobile gaming store so they have over 300 games from 150 developers are already signed on the Game Credits Mobile Store. It's scheduled to release on the second quarter of 2017. So it's being released. The Mobile Go crowd sale and Mobile Go token issuance will help fund marketing and branding of the Game Credits Mobile Store and the development of smart contract technology with uh, the Ethereum platform. We also have here, Mobile Go tokens will allow for the development of a decentralized virtual mobile gamer marketplace, the ability for gamer versus gamer decentralized match play, and decentralized tournaments run on smart contracts. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So yeah, I might buy into a couple Mobile Go tokens, but I won't buy too many until we see um, what's happening. And we'll see more happen in the future and I'll follow their Twitter and uh, if I see something else I like in the future I'll buy more but the question is where am I going to buy them so probably Cryptopia now we can move on to our next and final token review which will be the Santiment Network token or SAN they have a total supply of 83 billion SAN and the circulating supply of 60 billion SAN right now. A 24 hour volume of about $20 million and a market cap of about $75 million. So we see um, I've been holding this token for a while now since it was 20 cents. And it just passed a dollar. That's a five time, five times growth. And uh, if we look back here, doo -doo -doo, yeah, 15 cents. Um, 15 cents went up a little bit and then came back down to 26 cents. So if you bought in October, the end of October, you could have bought it for 21 cents. 
the beginning of November. So you could have made five times your money within less than a month, which is pretty insane. So it would have been a good token to put even all your money into if you were smart. If we could have predicted the future, right? But we can't. So we just take the knowledge we learn every day and apply it to our future trading. But it's better to you know, test it out with little bits of money and learn with little bits of money. Don't worry too much about making that million dollars in the beginning. It will come with time. And uh, if you're trying to make that huge money in the beginning without learning how to trade and knowing what you're doing, you're just going to lose all your money. So it's, it's okay sometimes to make small, humble uh, growth and not get too greedy. And then over time, you learn and, and can then easily make um, huge returns in the future when you're ready, if that makes sense. So let's, uh, let's go here to their social media. They do have Twitter. And um, I followed their Twitter myself already. Let's go to their uh, market. So they're on Bitfinex, which is where I have it, bought it, currently own it. Um, Bitfinex, Liqui, and Ether Delta, as well as HitBTC and IDEX. So uh, I suggest going on, if you can, I haven't tried HitBTC out yet, but I'm going to. I just do not recommend Bitfinex to anybody. I've been on it for a couple years and uh, have lots of experience with it, enough to know that it's one of, it's actually the biggest, big, biggest exchange for volume, but it's actually uh, has the most limitations and the most rules. And it does the most weird, random things basically does whatever it wants and it's not um, it's not following 100% of all laws and it's uh, it's probably going to get into trouble someday especially with it dealing with uh, tether and kind of owning partnership uh, ownership of tether but moving on to Santonin's website this is where it gets exciting, guys. That's why I saved this one for last. A better way to trade crypto markets. Market data feeds, news wires, and crowd sentiment insights for the blockchain world. Now, let's try to do this quickly. They have lots of interesting uh, material. You can uh, research the sentiment token um, right here on their website with all these stories podcasts, articles that they have collected. So they're um, being very transparent. Right off the bat, that is amazing. There's not a lot of uh, companies being transparent these days. And I just read an, read an article today about how tech giants are losing faith. People are losing faith and trust in them because um, they're not as, so, as transparent as they could be. And that uh, they're, they've been doing a lot of uh, things and the public eye has been on them. Even the government's eye has been on them because they're so powerful. These big tech giants now, they're not just somewhere to go and get entertainment now. They're political tools and uh, things that can change outcome of even elections, right? So um, transparency is a big deal because they don't want these social media sites rigging elections and uh, you know stealing people's data and using it against them which they can do all sorts of bad things tech companies with the information you give them so we're starting to see a need and a demand uh, with consumers demanding transparency and uh, a business model that has transparency built into it and Santanin definitely has that. I love Santanin's uh, little, I guess it's an ant right here. They've got um, a mascot already. Today's crypto markets are driven by crowd sentiment. Hype and fear dominate the price action. Sentiment delivers clarity with market sen 
to mint content in data feeds that can't be found anywhere else. So trade with confidence, stop trading in the dark. Get a regular stream of curated market news and insights with updates on blockchain happenings, trends, and sentiment. And we'll talk about what sentiment is in a second. All available in easy to grasp newsletters, articles, and reports, and aggregated from across the web. Never be blindsided by the crypto markets again. Sentiment gives you the daily pulse of cryptocurrency and blockchain markets. Get the exclusive content streams from a network of crypto trading and investing experts. So this is what sentiment is. The, the down and then up of these tokens. So people having fear and then fear of missing out. Fear of not getting out and then fear of not getting in. Minimize the risk, maximize profits. Information and infrastructure for a crypto financial world. And then here's how sentiment works. Ever notice how things in crypto get really exciting? People start making crazy predictions and then suddenly it's its highest point. Everything turns for the worse. So at its highest point and when everybody has so much faith in it is when things start turning uh, for the worse. And then we call this the sentiment wave. So at the pit of the despair, when the crowd thinks it's all lost, fortunes suddenly turn again. So this sentiment curve. So we have here FOMO time, feeling great, extremely positive sentiment, highest risk. So whenever the public view is the highest, the most ri it's the most risky. Whenever the public view is the lowest, is the best time to get in. So then we have after the highest point, we have denial when it's going down, but people are like, oh, I'm not going to get out. It's not going down much. And then it goes down more. So they say, no problem. It's just a correction when it starts going down in their denial phase. And then they panic once it drops down to past the point where they bought. Then it's doom time when they lost like double or more. And depression sentiment is extremely negative. That it's the best opportunity to buy. So and then it starts going up and soon time to FOMO again. So when it goes down and people are depressed, some smart people start buying, driving the price back up. And this is a curve that you'll see over and over again in cryptocurrencies and you need to understand it to succeed. We call this the sentiment wave and sentiment is all about measuring crowd moods so that you can make ideal trading decisions. Every data feed sentiment produces either contributes or gives insight to into crowd sentiment. And you can make this data work for you. Sentiment generates revenue with a regular subscription fees. Our token, the Sentiment Network token, or SAN, is used for accessing content and data feeds. It can either be staked, given, giving holders limited access to services for free, or it can be spent in auctions to perch purchase our most exclusive da data. This connects the SAN token value directly to the value of data feeds and information Santiment produces. So they'll want to produce better quality so the token goes up in value. So here's the roadmap. Um, so the end of 2017, they're doing their mobile app, alpha, crowd sale, white paper release, price, history, data feed, ICO analysis stream, and Slack sentiment data feeds. Uh, and then in 2018, so the first quarter, blockchain analytics data feeds, sentiment database alpha, crowdsource rumors feed, due in diligence stream. And then third quarter, meta sentiment data feed prototype, team and exchange address tractor, regularity content stream. Uh, and then quarter four, so the end of 2018, crowd governed data vending. Uh, project development stream, content platform R&D release, crowd data feed voting and governance, and then uh, 200 plus data feeds. So it looks like this is going to be a project that goes well into 2018 and a project that's really being built for the end of 2018, 2019. There are some other tokens trying to do similar things and predict the markets as well as uh, have people um, pr 
profit off of predicting markets. And um, this one seems like it's going to take a bit longer, but, but ultimately be one of the better ones. So if you look at the team here, we have uh, beautiful artwork, but we also have beautiful teams here. Look. This guy here, the founder, serial product creator and entrepreneur from early work at IBM to co-founding a successful hosting company. After a seven-year break to study meditation, yoga, and modern financial systems analysis, he returned to introduce German quality to a social trading startup. Then after three years left to follow a new passion, cryptocurrencies. We have an e Ethereum scientist here. Uh, we have a mathematician, developer, designer, graphic illustrator, community manager, project coordinator. So it looks like a strong, uh, very creative, interesting team. Now the project transparency section. So you know what we're up to. They uh, have audits about their funds that they raised what they're doing with it, how much they have left, where it went to. So they're very, uh, very transparent. They even have their Ether wall Ethereum wallets where you can look and make sure that the funds that they say they are are there. And so they have their pre-sale data and their, uh, their crowd sale, token sale data and how many transactions went in, out, things like that. Very transparent. And their token sale here um, says it's complete. It was uh, finished on July 5th, 2017. And then uh, you see where they plan to use their funds and their token functionality and then relevant documents. So that's about all, guys. That's uh, that's sentiment. We can watch a small video though. Introducing Sentiment, the data feeds platform for cryptocurrency that shows you the true state of the market. Sentiment data feeds gives you clear, trustworthy information on crowd sentiment and blockchain analytics, so you can trade confidently and mitigate risk. Sentiment is bringing transparency to the crypto markets by making feeds that give you an edge. Blockchain feeds pulled directly from all major blockchains for easy analysis and back testing. Sentiment data feeds so that you can see crowd emotion build before dramatic price movements. Curated content feeds that give you market insights from the most reputable experts. And a crowdsourced database of blockchain projects to bring transparency and due diligence to blockchain projects new and old. This information will transform the way you trade letting you make your own information edge that maximizes opportunity and we're not working alone economy the blockchain research lab co-found it brave new coin and other partners are helping us bring sentiment to life so if data and hard numbers could help you trade better then join sentiment today and be part of the world's first crypto data feeds platform yeah, that could definitely help me trade better. I'm looking to uh, evolve my trading. I don't want to sit here looking at computer screens all day. And sometimes I'll log on the computer in the morning and I will be trading for hours. And it just takes up so much time. So I would like to look into some bots and some platforms that are out there to make trading easier. So for me, these are going to be the number one use cases and useful cryptocurrencies for me. We'll see you next time with our token reviews so that everybody kind of understands which tokens are out there and we don't miss out on anything and that we have all the information that we can about this cryptocurrency revolution. I'm Crypto Keith and I'll see you next time.